Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we're doing today. Today we're doing beans and rice. The good way. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a really great beans and rice meal. We're going to use Spam as the as the protein in it. And it is absolutely delicious. It's so of, good. It's one of Amy's favorites. Yeah. She requested it. So I said, we need to film this because it runs about $1.25 per person and I bake my own bread to go with it yeah. and that's included so you cannot you cannot eat like that out no and you're not going to find anything as good out either I mean it's so good <laughs> she just loves oh. it but it's the rationing we need to learn to ration and measure and be more precise with our cooking this and yet still be able to feel Full. Yeah, this you know? will fill you up, yeah. and and that's what this type of meal is. If you can start supplementing maybe once, twice a week with a cheap filling prepper pantry meal, get yourself used to eating these foods. Yeah. And let me tell you, your best friend in your pantry are your seasonings, mm -hmm. and that's the difference between now and the first Great Depression. They didn't have access to the seasonings that we do now, so keep hitting up those dollars aisles, Walmart, all those for those Man, cheap it makes dollar a difference. seasonings. I'm telling you what, this this recipe, you guys got to try it. It is so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. And like she was saying about the rationing, you know, it's uh, something you got to get used to and you got to yeah. practice. All of this stuff takes practice. Nothing, we don't know how to do anything without doing it and practicing it. Well, exactly. It, so. And if, if a major event is going to happen, you don't want that to be the time that you're trying to figure it yeah. all out. It just once a week, everybody, if you can just practice once a week with a cheap, prepper pantry meal yeah get your get your menu down for when you absolutely need it you know yeah. uh it's important and man you can eat good if you practice you, you can really eat good. can and cheap yeah all right let's get started let's do it all right these are the ingredients for tonight's dinner we have half of a medium-sized white onion. Any kind of onion will do, even purple. And I brought out some dehydrated onion to show you that if you didn't have a fresh onion, you could use the granulated onion or dehydrated onion flakes, whatever works best for you. We are going to need one and a half cups of white long grain rice. Some This is garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt. I have some tomato bouillon, tomato chicken bouillon down here. Some regular cooking oil, that's just a uh, Wesson vegetable oil. Some pepper, I'm gonna use fresh cracked, you can use any kind you like. These are some dehydrated peas. These are some dehydrated chilies, um, about a medium heat. This is optional, completely optional. We use them in almost all of our, our food. And then I have two cans of Great Northern beans that I paid 99 cents for on those. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get our water ready for our rice. I've got some boiling water back here. But before I do that, I'm going to add one cube. Should we show them? One cube of this tomato chicken bouillon into the bottom of the thing. Whatever kind of vessel you want to use. I'm also going to add about a quarter cup-ish of dehydrated peas. And like I said, this is optional. We like these chilies. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to put a good handful of these dehydrated chilies in there. And I'm also putting some dehydrated chilies in this little container because we're going to use this in our spam. We're going to add three cups of water. That's why I like to do this in a measuring cup. That way I can just add my three cups of water. I'm going to go a little more than three because I did put some vegetables in there. And then I'm going to fill this little cup with hot water. Let these get dehydrating for our main meal. And then I'm going to put of something, anything you can, because you want to trap that heat in there, and we're going to get everything else ready while this gets nice and rehydrated. All right, I am going to be using a rice cooker to cook our rice in tonight, so we're going to get this all ready, okay? The first thing that I'm going to do is add two to three tablespoons of just regular vegetable oil into the bottom of my rice cooker. 
I'm also then going to add about a quarter of an onion. Remember I had half an onion that I diced up? I'm going to put a quarter of that onion into this pot. And then I'm going to add one and one half cups of white long grain rice. This is a half cup measure, so I need two more of those. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch this to cook. And we're going to let that rice and oil and onions heat up in the bottom of this pan. It's been about two minutes. Can you hear it? It's starting to sizzle and make noise. So we're just going to continuously stir this and let that rice get a little cook on it. And that onion, if you could smell it, it already smells delicious in here, huh? And that's just the onion. I'm going to watch this for about mm, four or five minutes and keep stirring it. All right, our rice. Some of them are getting a little golden, but you can see some of them are white. Some of them are translucent. This is just absolutely perfect. I'm telling you, this makes the best rice, huh? Yes. Okay, Perfect. now we're going to get our mixture of our peas and our bouillon and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm going to give it a stir so I can make sure that bouillon gets really dissolved in there and we don't end up with a clump of it inside of our rice. It looks like everything rehydrated really good. So now I've got that stirred up and we're going to... Dump it in. Hear the sizzle? There we go. Make sure we get all that goodness out of there. All right, we're going to give this just a real good stir. Make sure everything's evenly incorporated. I put the lid on, and we're going to press it to cook. And I always put a towel over the top of my rice cooker, and this will, this will turn off. When this rice is done cooking, it'll turn off, and it'll say warm, and that lets me know that the rice is done. Let's get our Spam going. All right, I've taken the Spam out of the can, and I'm going to cut it exactly in half, because we're using half of this for tonight's meal and the other half for tomorrow's night's meal. It is time, everybody. We're just going to dice this up. It is time to start rationing, rationing ourselves with our food and learning how to use all these foods in our prepper pantries. So I'm looking at getting a really kind of nice small dice on these. Little chunks. All right, I've diced up all the Spam. That looks like a lot of Spam, mm -hmm. doesn't it? And then this is that quarter of an onion, all diced up. And now we're going to get it into our pan. But before we can do that, the thing is with turkey Spam is it doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So you got to put some fat back into your pan. So I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, and then I'm just going to put all this into my pan. Let's get the oven going. Let's get this start frying this up. Next thing we need to do is remember I rehydrated these chilies. Don't they look good all rehydrated? We're going to add those into the mixture. Mm. Yep. And we're going to add a few seasonings. Some cracked pepper. And I'll be adding more of this once we get to the bean part. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. This is garlic powder, not garlic salt. I'm not salting any of this yet because of the Spam. It is pretty salty. And this is onion powder. And we're going to let that get cooking up and frying up. This is just going to take a little bit. I'm going to let this start frying up, and I'll come back when we've got a nice crisp on it. Here are my bread rolls. They're just about all proofed, ready to go. It's the same recipe I always use. I'll leave it for you in the description, and I'll show you a video of how to make the bread, but this gave me nine nice rolls. Now we've got some, see how nice and crispy these bits are? Oh, and it smells so good. So now we're gonna add our two cans of Great Northern Beans, and make sure you add all the juice. Look in there. We may even put some water in there and get the rest of that out. 
two cans. Look at that. Let's give it a stir. Get everything nicely incorporated. And then I'm going to put a lid on this. I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to, a little more than a simmer, but not boil. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to come back and check it every few minutes and give it a stir. All right, our rice is done. Show them how it went to warm. So we're going to take this off and take look at that. It is, it's perfect. Look at that. Isn't this the most delicious mm, rice? It's the best rice ever. And this is the way I make my rice almost 100% of the time because it's just so delicious. Now, to plate this meal, we're going to make, this is how I do it, I make like a little well in the middle of the bowl. Yeah, is that too much for you? Yeah, maybe. That's good. Okay, we'll just spread it around like that. We don't want you to have too much. Make a little well. And who requested this meal? Me. That's right. Amy requested this. This is one of her favorites. So, look at our beans. Yum. Don't they look delicious? So now we're going to scoop our beans into the center of our bowl. I'm going to try to get some more of the juice. Is that enough? Yeah. Get one more scoop. That's plenty. Get some more juice. Alright, let's get you to take a bite. Alright, she also has this delicious oh, bread look roll. At that. Oh. Here, I'll hold the bread roll. I need my little tray. Oh, look at that rice. Let's show them. See all the, it's hot. I see the steam coming yeah. up off of it. Hot? Mm. It's hot. Oh. Mm. Is that what you wanted? Exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. I want to show them your bowl again because this is so delicious and it is incredibly mm. filling. And like I said, a dollar fifty per serving. You just mm. cannot beat it. Mm. And it's a good meal, huh? It is so flavorful and so delicious. And that dollar fifty includes you guys try this. includes your fresh bread roll. Mm, let's have a bite of that. <laughs> you stay away from my food, Dougie. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? It's nice and hot still. Mm. There's nothing like fresh baked bread. If you guys aren't making your own bread, you need to make your own bread. It's been, what, nine months or something mm. like that since I've bought bread. Mm. All right, everybody. Prepper pantry. Got to start learning these meals. Oh, man, you got to try this meal, you guys. All right, everybody. How about that beans, rice, and spam? So good. It so is good. so good. And I really hope that you'll you'll try making that rice, too, because it's cheap. It's delicious. You can use it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good. I make it at least three times a week. It's a version of that. Yeah, it's so good and so filling. The mm -hmm. fact that it was only, you know, half ration for the whole can. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so full. My and we eyes had were extras. crossing. Yeah. It was so, so good. It, it is good. It's filling and it's the seasonings. It's mm -hmm. having those spices in your pepper pantry. That is going to be the difference in your rice and beans not being plain and yucky and boring all the time. Yeah. Um, the first thing Amy and I ever prepped were two five-gallon buckets, 30 pounds of rice, and 30 pounds of beans. That's right. Beans and because rice we and like Jesus it. Christ. That's right. What That's else all you do you need? <laughs> we had a comment. We had somebody, and, you know, I just kind of looked Easy. at it, and the guy said, I don't know if it's a guy or a gal, I shouldn't have said that, but it basically said, I don't understand you preppers. What do you think is going to happen? Why do you need all these supplies? You know? And it's happening. Yeah. Look at the inflation. The way I look at it, we've already saved ourselves a, a boat load of money yeah. just given the inflation that's happening right, right now. Exactly. Not to mention the fact that the Bible tells us to prepare. Yeah, it sure does. And, you know, it's, it's crazy. Those type of comments, um, 
it's happening right in front of everyone's faces yeah. the same way. It's happening to all of us the exact same way uh, to a degree. And yet some are completely oblivious to it and really don't see it. It's, it's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. And I know some would say it's cognitive dissonance. But, you know, the Bible says Ryan is out of Ryan's, control this morning. Geez. She knows I'm getting ready to leave. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, no, you're not. Stop. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the Bible tells us that this is going to happen, that people aren't going to see what's happening, yeah. and that he will make it so. So... Wow. If people aren't willing to open their eyes, and my thing is, somebody to leave a comment like that, why are they even watching our type of video? Yeah. You know, maybe it was just morbid curiosity. I don't know, but... Or maybe it's the Holy Spirit speaking to them, and yeah. they don't understand it, because they've never quieted enough to listen, you know? Exactly. So whatever the case may be, you know, as far as... Uh, I know a lot of you struggle with family and friends that aren't seeing it, um, and all we can... <laughs> she's out of control. Yeah. All we can say to that is... Just keep praying. Yeah, keep, keep praying, praying and doing and what you're doing. Doing what you're doing, you know, and hopefully the blinders will be lifted. Yes, absolutely that. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you are well. We've had a very, very crazy week. Crazy weather. Rain, hail, snow, sleet, all of it, and I've been extremely ill, and I'm starting yeah, to come so out please, of it. It's everyone not the say crud. A prayer. Oh. Please say a prayer for Ash. It's not the crud. It's my own personal autoimmune stuff. Um, but I'm doing really good now, so I'm happy about that. Thank you all so much. Please give us a thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave us a comment in the comments. And I'm going to probably... This dog. This dog. <laughs> She's out of control. We're going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you all. Peace.